Hi, my name is Newell Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to do an update on our hamster bin that has red wigglers in it. So this is used hamster bedding. I've been adding it to the system, and it's been going for quite a while now. Now, it's been 15 days since our last update. I was hoping to get to these a little bit more frequently than that, but although I don't really have any bedding to add. So it's just going to be an update on how the worms are doing in this system after our last massive infusion of bedding that we added to this system. So I'm hoping that they have really rebounded as they were starting to kind of, there was a lot in there, but they were starting to look kind of weak a little bit. I'm hoping that it's a full rebound, that they're really healthy and vigorous, and that they're really looking into this food. So with that, let's take a look at the system and see how this is, these worms are doing. All right, here's our hamster bedding bin. As I said, as you can see, 516 to 531, so 15 days. And let's go ahead. I did have this, just so you know, I did have this caddy corner, but I change that for this. Oh, there's a big spider on the back there. It looks like with a nest on it. Um, and there's a fruit fly right there. So this is where I think of having some of my issues with flies and stuff. It's out of these bedding bins like this. I don't think these are great for um, that type of stuff. And look at this. We've got stuff growing in here. I'm guessing that is corn. And I can see a bunch of fruit flies in here. And I'm going to grab my shop back real quick. Wasn't really expecting this, but... So with that, I can definitely tell where some of my issues are with fruit flies. As you can tell, this is the last area we fed on. And let me just straighten that out just a little bit. And you can see right here, I also have the tape mark over there, but it's very easy to tell where we last fed with these shoots coming up right here. So with that, let's go ahead and dig into this system and take a look and see how it's doing. First, let's take a look at the side that does not have the fresh bedding. So again, I do use separate gloves for all my for my hamster bins. I'm using the left glove on this one. Now let's just take a look in here. This is very, very moist, but oh my gosh, you can just tell the worms look really healthy in here. And they're doing really, really well. And I think that it's very obvious that they like this material. There's still some food left in here too. But they're doing a great job of churning through this stuff. And the worms look incredibly healthy and vibrant fly right there I'm not seeing any cocoons but they, they look just really really good you know I wish that all my systems are sort of look like this for worms it's a little thick in here as I said I did leave the this caddy cornered just trying to kill that fruit fly that flew out of there but look at this you can see the worms are nice and healthy in here no issues whatsoever in fact they look massive for for red worms I mean these guys are big um, this one almost looks like I want to say a European Nightcrawler. Maybe it is. I don't know. But um, I mean, I don't have the bin right nearby. I just have to go down two levels to get into this system. But th this just looks so healthy and vibrant. I mean, you can see even the baby worms in here. We've got some baby worms going in there. But it's just loaded. I mean, it's just absolutely loaded with worms. You can just, every, every piece of it has worms in it. So they look really good. Here's some of our leftover pineapple. So we'll go ahead and cover this back up over this side. And now let's dig into the side that actually had the fresh bedding material. Let's just take a look here. And you can see, again, tons and tons of worms. There's a big spider coming right out there. I'm going to go ahead and kill him. Um, yeah, we got these shoots coming up. This is corn um, from some of the corn seeds that are in, that were in his food. But um, Overall, it's just, I mean, it's just amazing how well they're going with this material. It's just taking a long, little bit longer, it feels like, for them to break this down. The last time, it was very, very quick. More fruit flies coming out with that, but look at this. Flip this over. Look at this. Now, this does have a little bit of an odor to it, a little bit anaerobic maybe down there on the bottom. Maybe it added a little bit too much water, and you can see right here, especially, oops, it was kind of clinging to that bottom section. It was kind of becoming a little bit too hard down there on the bottom. But you can just tell, I mean, this is just worm heaven right here. Look at this. I mean, they're going nuts in this material. 
Lots of corn seeds in here though from, from the hamster. He's not very good at eating them. He likes pulling them off the corn cob, but not eating them necessarily. I guess he likes to save those for later. But this is just doing phenomenal, this system. I just wish I could get rid of the fruit flies in here. So we're gonna try something uh, with this system. I figure it's a good good system to try stuff on. Um, I've, you know, obviously have a back backup of worms. I know that this isn't gonna hurt the worms that I'm putting in here, but we're gonna go ahead and add something that's gonna hopefully help with this fruit fly issue. And I've heard of it multiple times before. We're not gonna do any more feedings today. I was thinking about maybe adding some pineapple to this, but there's still plenty of bedding left in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some dolomite on the top here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off my glove and put it to the side. And I have some dolomite. I just had it here a second ago, right here. So right here, this is dolomite. This is from Amazon. Um, I have a link, if you follow my link to uh, one of the links I've got down below, this will take you to a place where you can find dolomite on Amazon. I'll have an Amazon link down there. But we're gonna try adding this. I've heard that this can prevent fruit flies and fungus gnats. And I'm, before I do this, so I am going to put on a mask. So I've got an N95 mask on. Actually, this I think is an N100. So make sure I've got a good seal on my face. And I'm not going to get this on my hands either. I'm going to be very careful sprinkling it in. I'm going to kind of sprinkle it in a little bit thick. But we're going to put that all along the top X section of, of this. This is very dry material. But the idea is to try to get this everywhere. Hopefully this will kind of get rid of the fruit flies in here is my hope. And again, I'm gonna leave the, the uh, lid caddy cornered. Now this is also, it probably would be because it is a um, powder and it's hard. This would also be a good grit if I can get it closed now for the worms as well. There we go, got it closed. I'm gonna keep my mask on here. I saw a little bit tough out there at the end, but that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take off this piece of tape right here. We don't need this tape anywhere on here because we're not adding in food. We're just gonna add in dolomite. And I am gonna, as I said, leave the lid a little bit catty cornered. And one of the things we're gonna do here, I'm gonna just grab this lid real quick, is we are going to, because we had a dolomite on here, and I'm doing this backwards, so I'm going to put a D right over here for dolomite. And hopefully I'll remember what that stands for the next time we come back. But this is what I'm using now to track how what I've added to the system. So I can see I've added food or bedding, you know, food or bedding, and then nothing, and then food or bedding, and this was food and this was bedding, I remember. This one, we're gonna be adding dolomite, no food or bedding. And we're gonna have this lid caddy cornered again. And we're gonna let it dry out a little bit more. And hopefully this dolomite will dry it out a little bit, but also kind of tap down on some of the bugs in here. So that's my hope with this. We're gonna put it back on the shelf. We'll come back maybe in a week or two and see how it looks. And uh, tomorrow maybe we'll check on the other uh, hamster bedding bin with the African night crawlers in it. And we'll see if that has the same issue of these fruit flies, because I really don't want to have fruit flies in my systems. I know that I have a lot that get picked up at night with my uh, my bug lights, but you know I'd rather just not have them at all. So we're going to try this out again and see if this works. So with that, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and let me know what you think. Thank you again.